Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have two different things to talk about. First off, we have that potential Nintendo Direct happening this month. A little bit more information on that. And then we also have a rumor going over the Crown Tundra, of course. Both of these are just rumors, so take them with a grain of salt as always. But if you are excited for the video, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 750. Make sure to drop a comment. What do you think about everything we're going to go over today to do with the Direct and the room? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this year's channel. With all of that out of the way, let's get into the video, and I really hope that you enjoy so, starting things off, we're talking about the Nintendo Direct. Now, this was taken from Nintendo Soup. We'll link them in the description down below. Really cool website. Keeps you up to date with everything you need to know. Uh, and it basically goes into talk about the Nintendo Direct. Now, obviously, I made a video not too long ago uh, on this topic. Uh, someone had basically uh, said that we're going to get a Nintendo Direct this month. Who basically kind of predicted a Direct in the past and got it right. So, they kind of know a little bit somehow. But now they're saying it's a direct this month and now some other person is saying it's a direct this month let's just get into it so basically it says king zell claims the nintendo direct on july the 20th is a general direct well july the 20th is tomorrow on a monday but obviously we've not had any information about a direct but this person is someone that has got things right in the past it says if you've been following nintendo direct rumors you might have heard of king cell uh who has actually predicted upcoming nintendo directs several times in the past so this ain't just some like random dude on the internet he gets some right when he says it's gonna happen but obviously we haven't had any word or news about a nintendo direct so if there is gonna be a nintendo direct tomorrow it's just gonna be a shadow drop because we usually get 24 hours prior notice we haven't had that because, well, at the time I'm recording this, it's half past five. But we usually get it at like two, three o'clock if we're going to get like an announcement. Um, so, yeah, if anything, it's just going to be a shadow drop. Which basically what that means is they're just going to drop it out of nowhere and it's going to be a massive thing. So, uh, basically, he says, besides confirming that Nintendo Direct is on the way tomorrow, being July the 20th, King Zell made the following points. So, contrary to popular belief... Uh, the Nintendo Direct is going to be a general Nintendo Direct, not one that is focused only on the Super Mario Bros. series, uh, which basically gives a little bit more hope for some Crown Tundra info. And then it says the Nintendo Direct will appeal to fans of the Super Mario series, so obviously they're going to have stuff about that in there. And then it says he isn't sure whether the Nintendo Direct is a Nintendo Direct Mini, um, so obviously a Direct Mini is just a smaller Direct. And they say he doesn't know whether The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will appear in the Direct. Please take everything with a pinch of salt until we get to see the Nintendo Direct. So yeah, I'm not really too sure how to feel about this because like I said, this dude obviously has got things right in the past. He knows what he's talking about. But at the same time, we've had no information about a Direct tomorrow. So unless he's got the date wrong and it's going to be like on Tuesday instead of Monday, who knows? Um, but obviously we're coming, you know, we're halfway through July now and if there is a July Direct then, you know, where is it? So, yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Like, this isn't just some random rumor on off the internet or something. This is someone that's got on things right in the past and he says there's a Direct tomorrow. There might be a Direct tomorrow. Uh, if there is a Direct tomorrow, who knows? Uh, but they usually give us 24 hours notice. Maybe they're just going to shadow drop it. Who knows? But uh, that's all on Nintendo Stoop. So I'll link them in the description, like I say. Uh, so if you want to check out the article and everything like that, it's in the description down below. Um, you can go check it out. Uh, anyway, next up, we're going to be talking about a Crown Tundra rumor. So um, this was posted on Wednesday on the 15th of July. And it says, uh, Crown Tundra info by Alas. And it says, hey, everyone, this is some info I got on the upcoming DLC, The Crown Tundra. So no idea how this person knows the information that they know, um, but let's get into it. So it says, bronze bottle cap, which reduces the IVs of a single stat to zero, which I guess would be useful you know in some certain sets like in a trick room set where you want your speed to be as low as possible you're gonna want to get the ivs low or whatever so yeah bronze bottle cap would be a very very useful tool um so please let's have one and then it says the hidden ability capsule which changes the normal ability to the hidden one and vice versa uh which would be super broken because hidden abilities are obviously usually better than the other two abilities and uh, being able to get one just with the use of an item would be great and i can't really see um that being like 
I, I, I can see it happen, just simply because there's been so many useful competitive things that's come out in Sword and Shield. Like just in the Isle of Arm, we've got that woman on that small island that um, I think she like reset the EVs or something like that. Uh, basically some very useful competitive stuff there. So yeah. And then it says the Galatia, Galatia Shawl, which is used to evolve Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowking. I'm going to guess that it's going to be the same kind of concept and premise of what we did with Galarian Slowbro into Slow... Uh, slow poke into slow bro where we had to get the eight twigs and then we got the item from the woman then we evolved it i'm guessing it's something similar with slow king where you have to get eight of the items and someone gives you it to you know evolve slow poke into slow king anyway it says pokemon galarian slow king is a ghost poison type who has a signature move being mind rage um so yeah i don't know i mean we don't know about the um the, the typings or anything i i can't remember if this was a um a move that was shown in the the pokemon home leak because we did get something that kind of like leaked everything uh from home we got like all the moves and abilities and stuff. i can't remember if mind rage was a move anyway it says new black and white legendary horses capable of fusing with calyrex uh you will pick one of the new reggies and will be able to catch only one um, so, yeah, I mean, this person obviously, like, hasn't got this out of nowhere. This is, like, information we know is a thing. Um, there are going to be two kind of... We don't know they're going to be horse-like Pokemon, but it very much seems like they're going to be, like, their names in Japanese uh, refer to horses or something. And also one of the chapters in the Crown Tundra is something about being a steed or whatever. Um, so, and we, and we know there's two more legendaries that are going to be fusing with Calyrex. We know that because of the, the data mine leak. So... This person hasn't got this information out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, being able to only pick one of the new Regis uh, and catching any one of them, um, I guess, uh, would be strange. I, I would more so think they're like version exclusive. But uh, yeah, being able to have both in your game but only choosing one, I guess it's kind of similar to the Urshifu thing. But at the same time, it's going to be a little bit annoying um, being, a being a only able to get one of the Regis. And then it says characters. Uh, Peony, who is the brother of Chairman Rose, uses Galarian Slow King. Obviously, we know Peony is a character. And he has a Poppy, who is the daughter of Peony, who, again, does uh, seem like a character. We did get character models leaked as well in the Crown Tundra stuff um, from the data mine. So, again, I think all this person has done is literally just taking a look at the data mine and been like, all right, let me just copy and paste that onto a 4chan post. Then <laughs> that's, that's apparently how it works. Anyway, the plot. Uh, Peony will make you the head of his expedition. You will be researching the legendary Pokemon living in the Crown Tundra. Later on, Peony will get into danger because of his stubborn behavior and you will have to save him with Poppy. Uh, that's it for now. If I get more info, I'll post again to see you. So yeah, I mean, like I say, this all sounds legit just because most of it is taken from things that we know are legit. <laughs> so the only thing that we didn't know about this are the items which again maybe the hidden ability capture was a little bit far-fetched we're pretty sure that there's going to be an item for um, uh for slow king bronze battle cap uh, i mean that would sound pretty good we know about the horses uh obviously we know glaring slow king's a thing we don't know about this hyping i don't know if the mind rage move is a thing um so yeah i'm not really too sure about this rumor but uh yeah i'd like, like to hear what you guys have to say about it i don't know maybe it's true maybe it's not who knows it's just basically someone that's taken a lot of the information from the data mine and just kind of claimed it as their own also just to finish things off i did want to go over something else which was about pokemon unite which is also on nintendo soup uh this was posted about six days ago and it says pokemon unite devs discuss lack of release date target audience potential esports and more so it says last month the pokemon company and teeny studios announced pokemon unite a pokemon themed moba for switch and mobile obviously didn't get a lot of love uh, just take a look at the uh ooh, the dislike bar on that uh, reveal video wasn't wasn't great <laughs> it says in a recent interview with japanese news outlet dying producer masaki hoshino and his team shared a few more insights into this rather interesting new project the details include their thoughts on Pokemon Unite's target audience, its potential for esports, which is kind of crazy, as well as why there is no release date yet. You can check out some translated highlights below via the industry analysis Daniel Ahmed. So expanding the Pokemon IP to different genres is difficult, and Unite was realized in large part 
due to Tencent's expertise. It is a strategic team battle game and not just another MOBA. Timing of launch is not yet decided due to translation and development progress. The game is aimed at all Pokemon fans and new fans, old and young. The genre is already popular among young gamers in China, East on mobile. The game is on the Switch for the West, NA who prefer physical controls over touch. There will be no esports focus initially, but the game could become an established esports if the player base takes it in that direction. Would be interested in doing world championships like with Pokemon Tournament. I'm actually kind of excited for Pokemon Unite. I think it looks good, you know. Obviously, it didn't get the greatest uh, reveal, but uh, either way, I'm still very much excited for... Uh, for this game. I'm a big fan of MOBAs and you know, it's like Smite but Pokemon or League of Legends but Pokemon I think it could be really good and obviously if it does really well and people do like the game It's gonna have its own esports thing, which is really cool But I'm definitely gonna be streaming it a little bit making some videos on it and stuff all that good stuff So I hope it does uh, I hope uh, I hope the game is uh, received well, which uh, I'm sure it will be I'm sure when people play it, it will be good as long as they do it right um, But yeah, I just wanted to quickly include that in the video as well Of course the Nintendo suit will be linked in the description down below, but that is going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 750 likes. Uh, drop a comment. What do you think about everything we went over in the video? Uh, obviously, the direct. What do you think about that? What do you think about you, this Unite thing? And also, what do you think about this here rumor? I don't know what that was. Uh, <laughs> subscribe if you're brand new. Thank you so much for coming out to, to watch the video. I really do appreciate it. Lots of love. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And peace.